Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Dell Inspiron 3668 desktop system. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access, and replace your RAM. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your power cord. So we're going to flip our computer over to access our back. We're going to take off this screw and this screw to remove this panel. After those screws are gone, we'll grab this handle here, pull directly back, and that panel comes off. Now we'll spin the computer around to access the front. Here you see three clips, so we're going to raise the computer up just a little bit. We're going to undo these three clips, and that comes right off. To open this up more so we can access the inside of the computer, you'll see this blue tab here that says pull. So you don't have to unscrew anything. There's no levers or switches. You just grab it and pull it open. As a general computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there will be a link above, also below in the description, and it will be a list of all those tools and supplies and replacement parts for this computer. Your RAM, you have a single RAM stick right there, most of you. will have one RAM stick stock in this computer. There is another RAM slot right next to it. The way that the RAM works, there are two white buttons on each side of the RAM. You're going to press that button down away from the RAM. That will release it, and then you can just pull the RAM out. Just like that. As you'll notice, there's a long side to the RAM and a short side, so you can only put that RAM in the correct way. You can't put it in upside down, so don't worry about that. This computer takes DDR4 RAM at 2400 megahertz because this is an i-series processor. This computer has an i5, an Intel Core i5 processor, so that would mean it takes 2400 megahertz RAM. If you have an Intel Celeron processor and not in the i-series, you're going to look for 2133 megahertz RAM. I will have all this information below in the description um, if you need it to search for your own RAM. Uh, I will also have several RAM options below in that link I told you about with all the replacement and upgrade parts. Uh, so I will have some 2133 megahertz RAM if you have the Intel Celeron processor, and I will have this 2400 megahertz RAM if you have any of the i series, the i3, i5, or i7s. To get the RAM back in, you just make sure that those white buttons are open. You put the RAM into the slot and just press. And those arms will grab onto it and hold it in place. Keep in mind with a RAM upgrade, if you're here because you're trying to increase your computer's performance, its speed, uh, upgrading RAM, maxing out your RAM is a great way to do that. Probably one of the easiest and cheapest ways to increase your speed or your performance. If you want another idea to increase those, upgrading your storage is also a good idea. I'll have more information on that below in the description. But that's the end of this instructional video. I hope it was helpful. Please like and share if it was, if you think it can help someone else. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content, or if you want to keep me on hand to answer any future questions, I do answer all questions at least a couple times a day. Remember though, if you do have a question, check out the FAQs in the description first. It could save you some time waiting for an answer. Thank you so much everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.